Hey digital fam, my name is John D. Saunders. I wanna show you with three simple tools how to automate your entire agency, e-commerce store, or online brand with free simple tools. Let's do this. everybody I hope all is well so if you're a business owner blogger entrepreneur marketing agency owner you probably suffer from app overload that's when you're dealing with tons of different apps that you should use for every freaking process in your business download this one let me download this one download this one download this one this one this one so over the last three years we've cultivated a seamless integration with three free apps that help us one communicate with all of our members Two, be able to communicate on the fly with everyone in our team. And three, be able to review everyone's process, see where they're at in their tasks. So let's go ahead and dive in. This is gonna be a quick video. And if you have any additional questions, just comment below. Okay guys, so let's talk about this automation life. These are the three platforms we use to communicate to our team of five people every day on a daily basis in regards to our tasks in onboarding clients and completing projects. It's all about automation so that you can pull yourself out of certain things to work on other projects, right? But you still wanna make sure you have that efficiency. So the reason we chose these three platforms are as follows. One, they're all user-friendly, they're awesome, right? So the user experience or the UX is really clean and easy to use. So a lot of team members that we onboard that are new can learn the process pretty easily. Also, all three of these are free which is awesome, right? So if you're bootstrapping or you're growing your business, your blog, your agency, these all three are free and really simple to use. Uh, the third one is they have tons of integrations. So we actually have Slack integrated with Asana and we have Google Drive integrated with Slack. It's pretty much a group effort on all three fronts and I'm gonna show you how to use those. And then the last piece is they all have their own mobile app counterparts. So if you're on the go, you can see what projects are being done, what questions are being asked, and be able to use that to make informed decisions on the fly. So if there's a project that your developer needs questions answered on, boom, you've got Slack, whereas you won't have a ton of messages on other platforms that mix up everything, right? So let's go ahead and start with Asana. I'm gonna do this quick overview and then I'm gonna show you a live interactive version of our Asana. Asana essentially is a task manager. So you create tasks, projects, and create these dashboards where you're able to see what's being completed in a timely fashion. You can see the progress for all of these without scheduling a status meeting or sending one email. My thing is I try to get my email inbox to zero and these really help with efficiency in regards to organizing everything so I don't have to go to my email and look at a stream of 150 messages. You only get team updates you need instead of a flood of tons of different messages. So let me go ahead and show you how Asana works. All right, guys, so welcome to Asana. This is our task manager. The reason I chose Asana over competitors like Trello is I love the checklist format. It's pretty much the easiest way to get things done. And I love hitting that check mark at the end of the day. There's just, I guess, a sense of satisfaction. Plus Asana is really easy to use and really seamless. So for example, I wanna show you one job. Uh, this is actually one of the jobs that's assigned to me. Um, weekly blog, 5-4 digital. So these are those tasks. Now let me start off from the top so I can give you guys an overview. On the left-hand side, our team. Here's all of our members here. And then we have team conversations and team calendar, which I don't lose, use that much. Honestly, everything is organized by projects. So on the left-hand side, instead of having our client names there, we have everything organized by the project type. And we also have them color-coded. Now if you look here in the middle, you have all of our, well, my tasks specifically um, that I have to work on each day. And you also see that the projects are in tandem with this info here. And then we have due dates as well. So when you hit a project, then you get this subtask list that's organized by what I need to do. So these are all the things that I do in regards to the blog on a weekly once we get it live on YouTube. So I'll vet the idea, I'll record the guts, which I'm doing right now, record the intro, record the outro, add the blog to the website, and so forth. Now, specific people within this task have their own assigned tasks. For example, Kalidas, he's our data entry guy. He's the one that transcribes the content and puts it on the blog. Then I have Avi, our social media manager. He goes in and posts it on the different social media channels. That's why you see his picture popping up here. 
and then all the other assignments are for me. And then I have this task as recurring every seven days. So this makes it easy for me to, the fact that I don't have to think about it, it just comes into my tasks and I'm able to complete them and everyone else has their individual tasks within that broad task. So Asana just really makes it easy to create these tasks simply. I know I'm saying task a lot, <laughs> I apologize. But ultimately, this is to really streamline our process and make it simple. So that's a basic overview of Asana. I don't want to get too detailed into it because then this video will go into 30 minutes. And I know you guys do not have the patience for that. So that just gives you a basic overview of Asana. Next, let's talk a little bit about Google Drive. I'm pretty sure 95% of you are using Google Drive right now. If not, you can store up to 15 gigs of online storage for free. And that can include photos, stories, designs, drawings, also Google Sheets, which is like Excel, Google Docs, which is like Microsoft Word. And then you can also create presentations with Google Slides. So essentially, Google Drive should be something that you're using every day on the daily because it's just an amazing app. So essentially, we use Google Drive to store all the files for our clients. So if we onboard a new client, we'll create a new folder for them and then we'll make certain docs within that folder. One, fo one doc would be the sheets where we have all the logins, and then we might have additional folders with content for that site. So if it's website development, that folder might include images, copy, and other items. Then with Google Drive, we hit the share button and we share that with team members that are in line with this job. So um, later in this video, I'm gonna go over the process of using all three apps. I don't wanna integrate them all now to confuse you guys, but essentially Google Drive is used to house all the files pertaining to specific jobs. So I like to call Slack the WhatsApp of business because essentially it's a team conversation platform that you can use to effectively talk to all of the members on your team. Now what differentiates it from a lot of these message apps is that you can organize your conversations by channel. So I'm going to dive into my Slack and show you guys an example, which is really cool. Plus, you can add files, images, PDFs, documents, and more, and you can drop them straight into Slack. Now, we have Slack integrated with Google Drive, so all we basically do is share a Google Drive image, and it automatically uploads those files into Slack, which I'll show you a little bit later. So um, to get into Slack, this is an example. This is a conversation I have with our, our lead web dev. Uh, he just signed off today, so he's pretty much off for the rest of the day. Now, you can see our conversation here in images and text that I send. So, for example, we might have a job in Asana that needs a little bit more information within Slack. So, if Amit needs something specific from me, he can send me a message in Slack and I can get it to him pretty efficiently as opposed to putting it in Asana and waiting. Now, Asana is great because I'll have a list of tasks, but Slack is awesome because it basically lets you speak in real time regarding projects with your team. So instead of sending emails, instead of sending direct messages or other options, everything is filtered into Slack. Now, the great part about it is everything is dissected into channels. So every project that we have, we create a channel for and we're able to correspond and talk within that channel. So, for example, I'm going to open this project. These are any questions that we might have had regarding that. So if I need to go back, I can always reference that specific channel and that project in something that we're working on. So essentially, Slack is a communication channel for you and your team to speak efficiently and in real time to get projects done that are in Asana but need constant attention and discussion. OK, guys, now that we've gone through each app briefly, I want to go over the process. So I'm going to show you right now how it's done. Number one. We go into Asana and we create a new task for that client. So let's just do it for a website development project, right? So we already have canned responses for Asana to create these tasks automatically. So we'll create a new task in Asana for that website design project. Then all of those subtasks and the due date is assigned, right? Now, once that's done, a folder is created in Google Drive for that client's name to house and share their files with the team. So if it's a web development project, we make sure that we put that folder in the client's area on our Google Drive. We make sure we share all that content with the website developer or copywriter. And then we make folders for any of the image and copy content on there for the development team to be able to access anytime they need to. 
Then the third option is once Asana and Google Drive are taken care of, we create a channel for that project in Slack link it to Asana to communicate regarding projects. So if the web dev team or the copywriter have questions, we can all talk, correspond in Slack to communicate in real time to get jobs done. So in essence, this is all to avoid email overload where you have to go through 150 streams of email. You have to go back to other files. Your files are all over the place. This organizes your structure pretty efficiently. So really quickly, I'm going to walk you guys through it. Okay. So step one is going to be creating the task in Asana. So I'm going to hit add task website dev test. And then I'm going to hit this button to add subtasks and I'm going to paste my subtasks here. Boom. So all the subtasks are there and created. Right. And now I'm going to add to project web dev. And then I'm going to sign this to my man Amit. So Amit's going to work on that. And then I'm going to also add a due date. So let's put the 28th. Right. Boom. So that's done. Now that we've done that in Asana, now we're going to go to Google Drive. We're going to hit create new, new folder. And then website dev test. Let me just put a one there so I remember. And then create. Now that I created that folder, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to create a Google sheet, store all of my passwords there. And then I'm going to create a folder called website files. Whoops. Can't spell today. Okay. So that's done. Boom. Now I'm going to move on to the third step on Slack and create a new channel called web dev test. And then I'm going to invite all of the team members that need to be a part of it and hit create channel. So let's do admit and then let's create channel. Boom. Now we have this channel here where we can communicate about this specific project. So going back to the three platforms, we created the new tasks. We created those subtasks and due dates and also assigned that job. Then in Google Drive, we created the folder, the files, and then we created the tasks and the client to house and share those files with the team. And then lastly, we created a Slack channel to create, to communicate regarding that project. So this process is three tiers. It's really easy to implement and you can even simplify it a bit more. I didn't go into it on here, but there's also Asana, Google drive and Slack integrations to make this even more seamless. I'll probably get into that in the next video, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you guys again for watching our video content. We appreciate every single view. We hit a thousand subscribers recently and we've started to grow pretty rapidly. So make sure you hit that subscribe button as soon as you can. If you have any questions, just comment below. Peace.